and the SUV baby boom shows no signs of slowing down. And the latest newborn tiny tot is this, the Renault Capture. Ironically, it has arrived in Australia about nine months later than the French brand's initial due date, but has popped out to join the likes of the Ford EcoSport, Holden Trax, Nissan Duke and Peugeot 2008 in the burgeoning class. Now the Capture's come to Australia a little later than Renault had hoped. It's been delayed by, well, its popularity overseas actually. This is based on a small car, the Renault Clio. Essentially with more ground height and a little bit more space on the inside. It's also got a clever rear seat which can be moved forward and back by about 160 millimetres for extra legroom or extra luggage space. In the boot it's quite clever. It's got a removable floor with an extra space underneath or it can be tilted on a 45 degree angle keep the shopping from rolling around if you're only doing a light shop for the week. Otherwise, it's all pretty familiar from the driver's seat. Looks and feels pretty much like a Clio. It comes standard with sat-nav, reversing camera in all models, and like the Clio, it mimics it in mechanical spec. Renault has introduced the Capture with three models, starting at $22,990 plus on-road costs for the entry-level expression. That car is powered by a 66 kilowatt 900cc turbo three-cylinder, and is teamed with a 5-speed manual gearbox. Now it won't win any green light Grand Prix, but it is a charming little engine that is quite refined and loves to rev. A 1.2 litre turbo 4 cylinder that produces 88 kilowatts and comes exclusively with a 6-speed dual clutch automatic is also available in the Expression trim line for $25,990 and also in the range topping Dynamic which has larger alloy wheels, a two-tone paint job and removable seat covers. As for how it drives, well it's pretty familiar from the Clio as well. The steering's quite light, but it's got good turn in. The ride is relatively comfortable and the engines are quite perky when you need them to be. There is a little bit more body roll obviously as it sits higher off the ground, but it certainly feels fairly short footed through the bends. It's also actually reasonably quiet on the road as well, which is surprising for a small car and quite comfortable to live with in everyday situations. There's good vision all around, the seats are quite comfortable, quite a fresh environment to be in. The plastics do feel a little bit cheap though, and that's probably its biggest bugbear in terms of letdowns. Now, the Capture isn't without its shortcomings, particularly its lack of rear airbag protection, but it does bring a little more flair to the baby SUV segment, and one that certainly makes it appealing for young urbanites.